What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines. Let's play Season 8, Episode number 10. I got it wrong last episode. I'm pretty sure I got it right this episode. Um, yeah, so what I was thinking we could do today is a little bit of a another farm. Um, actually, a, a forestry region. Uh, but I've got an idea for that thanks to uh, someone in the comments. And then we can round out our zoning and maybe clean up a little bit over here. Try and fill up. Probably get another street up here by the highway. And uh, let's see where we're at, actually, zoning-wise. We needed a bunch of industrial space. So let's uh, let's do a forest area first. So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to come out uh, 10 units. Make sure there's a node there. And then that way we can do a quick little V here for the highway. I think it will let me connect this. Hey, that's good. That's fine. Okay, change direction. So we we just want to get a little bit of uh, traffic flowing off the highway here, and I'm gonna build just a, a simple little street here to house most of our farming buildings. Let's do that, and then we'll rewire that electricity to use the coastline a little bit more. Instead of coming through here. So what I was thinking we could do over here, and, and this was, I think I mentioned, an idea from the comments, but maybe we do a little um, farm over here that makes, uh, that makes trees. Of the green variety. And we could call it Tegrity Farms. So let's let's get going on that one. Um, since it's going to be forest, we can make a forest zone anywhere we want just by planting a bunch of trees, and it'll turn that yellowish, light greenish, uh, a much darker green, basically making the area better for trees instead of farming. You can't uh, undo it though, so. Make sure you want to commit to that. We're going to plant a bunch of trees just to, to help out the zone a little bit. And then we'll go back into industries. We'll put in the main building for the forestry area. And then we'll plant a bunch of fields here for the trees. I got to remember to rename this one too. Forgot to do that with the uh, the pepper trap. Four should be good to start, I think. Come down to like there, and I want to hook this back in. Maybe something like that. That could be okay. That could let us get a couple streets in here. Maybe we can get like a, a train station in here to bring cargo from these two industrial areas off to other areas of the map. Uh, let's go back into industries and drop in two more things. So we'll get a couple processing buildings down. So this will take the raw lumber and output timber. And then we can store some of the excess for now over this way. So to let us fit four, we'll do four. So those log yards will start to fill up. Can we do barracks yet? When does that unlock? A level two forestry industry area, okay. So we'll let that play. Uh, we're gonna have to water over here, I just realized. And maybe power too, I don't know. If, yeah, power should be close enough. Get the power plant right there. Water, not so much, though. So 
Super slot pipes. And overlapping for redundancy. But that should get us started. Let's rename it before we forget. Uh, is this is renaming the district, I believe, right? So, Tegrity Farms. If you know, you know, and if you don't, it's probably just as well. Uh, so, Tegrity Farms, growing the green trees for our map. So, hopefully, that business gets cranking. Um, these are going to complain about no goods until they get a delivery either from these or if they get something imported from uh, the edge of the map. Speaking of, where are you guys going? You want to deliver goods to the the log yards? Okay, we'll start we'll start piling up some wood. Now, at some point, what we've got to look at is over in the factories tab, like what other things we can introduce that maybe can make use of what we have. So this is what glass and crops. We don't have glass yet because we don't have an ore business going. Clothing factory is what. Uh, animal products, crops, and plastic. Plastic comes from oil. So all the factories I think that we have right now, we can't really leverage. Food factory, flour, plastic, paper, animal products. So we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. We'll keep an eye on the traffic here on this roundabout. But what do we do? What do we do with all the, the industry demand? It's crazy. Um, maybe some office blocks back here. Like this, this could be a very populous island and certainly wouldn't hurt. What if we did kind of a cut through street somewhere over here? Two nodes in. What's it telling me? I, it's space is already occupied by the road. Can I break these buildings? Oh, what is this? Oh, I made this historical because I like the look of it. There we go. That will work. So we want to maximize some of our zoning over here. How flat is this? Relatively... That could work. So let's figure out a spot to come through over here. I think right there works. Do something like that. And then maybe have like a half road that comes through here. Something like that. I don't know. Do we bring this down? I don't think so. I don't think we need to. Not for stuff that's way over here on the edge of the grid. Although I did have an idea for over here that we need to do. So let's break out our hmm, one-way tree-lined streets. Preformed. We'll break this rock. And then we can upgrade. No, upgrade. Not change direction. So we have this little one-way loop happening over here. What are we going to drop on it, you might ask? Great question. Uh, I didn't want to go much longer. Is it here? It's here. Let's do that. Let's see if it'll let us. That's kind of an odd spot. Uh, so in the <laughs> in the name of progress, we're gonna delete the Stonehenge looking thing. Somebody left some rock piled up over here. I'm sure it's of no cultural significance whatsoever. Probably not, at least. 
too late now, right? So let's extend this out a little bit, because this is sloppy over here. Uh, so back to roads. Okay, one way. Let's go straight. Let's see how long Did we get two units in. Yeah. So uh, 20 units, I should say. Two big, two big lines. Now, can we? How do we do this? How do we get this back over there now? So that works. It'd be awesome if it actually let me uh, connect this in a way. Come on. That can work. And that should give us enough zonable space now to drop in the luxury hotel right next to our casino at the end of our strip. We'll smooth that out a bit afterwards. We're not too worried about that. I like it. It's a good placeholder for now. We'll, at some point, one of the things I want to do this series, something that we haven't really done in, let me water and power this before I forget, uh, something that we haven't done on the console builds really, because it, it is tough, um, but it might be fun, is to kind of detail it with some props and stuff and make it feel a little more alive, a little bit messy, a little bit lived in. Um, so there's little things we can do, but... Uh, We'll come back and do a, you know, a prop review at some point in the city. Definitely what we want to do is kind of make this beach a park. At least that's what I'm thinking. So let's jump over here. Let's paint a park area. Uh, may as well make the entire beach, right? Okay, so we've made it a park. Doesn't mean we have to charge uh, a mission or anything like that. I want to see what the gravel footpaths look like on here. It's not the worst if we did little gravel paths kind of coming down from the street into the beach area. We could also kind of put a fence along here and potentially charge a mission for it. I forgot to run power over the casino after I already told myself that I would. Uh, whoops. Now, I'm sure they will start generating lots and lots and lots of tax revenue for the city. Um, I'm sure of it. I just, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that um, they're going to want to give the city quite a bit of money to conduct uh, business here. Oh, power problems. I don't know how that happened. Uh, let me fix that. I must have accidentally deleted that cable there, making it very tough to run uh, this business. So, uh, so yeah. Kickbacks. Google it. All right, let's come back over here. We need some of that zoning. Let's look at our water situation. Yeah, that island's all mostly covered. So let's zone in some office space in here behind. In here behind these commercial buildings. Why are you letting me zone there? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, pretty sure that would not be a very useful building. Yeah, why is that not zonable? That's really weird. All right, so that should fill up in no time. And that will help meet some of our demand. It'll also bump up our residential because people don't want to move in if there's not jobs. So if you're wondering where are my residents ever, 
and uh, either of those other two sliders for commercial or for, um, especially it seems industrial, uh, definitely make sure and tackle those, and then you'll start seeing residential growth in your city as well. How are we doing? We're really low, I think, on residential space. We're pretty much filled out over here. A couple little, couple little pots here and there, not too much. Let's see how Integrity Farms is doing. Uh, we got the workers. We just need to produce goods, which is cranking right along. So that's great. Uh, then we'll be able to drop in some barracks and increase the efficiency and, and increase the worker count. At some point, I'm going to get this uh, this out of here. Let's see what we've got going on for pop-ups over here. Because we've got an abandoned commercial building down here in one of our uh, old town districts. Not enough customers. Not enough customers or not enough... That is not enough workers with a tie. Not enough educated workers. Let's take a look at our education. So. Uh, elementary, we're pretty good. Eligibility-wise. We're not necessarily great coverage-wise, though. So let's drop in another one over there where it looks like people are, are a little less educated. It does kind of look like they're struggling over here, too, so let's use some of that extra zoning space. How are we doing? Okay, high school, we're not doing so great. So all these people are well-educated, high school-wise, at least. Same thing over here. We've got, looks like we've got plenty of coverage, but then we start to get very lacking over here. Maybe these people all just moved in. I don't know. But we'll move out a couple of them to make room for some overlapping high school coverage there. Let's uh, let's just make sure we don't have yeah one tiny little square house right next to the high school doesn't make a lot of sense so so that is high school uh, how's university oof so we've got enough money in the bank and I know I know I know I need to get going on this but I'm gonna pop that down there for now. Because we're going to really redesign and rethink this. Um, I'm thinking, too, having, like, competing universities. So I'd rather, I think, have two smaller universities in this town. Then we can have some, maybe some sports rivalries back and forth. I'm, I'm kind of going left and right on the controller as if, like, yeah, that college over there and this one over here. Uh, we haven't even, we haven't even finished the first one yet. Um, we've got a little bit of residential demand. What do we got going over here? We got a... I wonder how much it's going to hurt the commercial over here if I get rid of those residents. I'm going to hold on to them for now, but we will be scrapping them at some point. Still got a little bit of industrial demand. Not the most, but we'll try and meet it with office over here. This will kind of be its own private little tip of the island, so we'll maybe fill this in with some trees at some point. Let's just leave ourselves a little, a little placeholder reminder. We don't want those ones on the beach. Thank you very much. The other thing that I was thinking of, and I, I saw this in the cinematic. Now, over here, I'm totally fine with the uh, the tree-lined streets. Kind of like, almost like it's a private drive as you're getting off. But what I thought made more sense it would make this city feel more lived in is downgrading these to... Uh-oh. Why can I not upgrade it? Any of these... Why can I not upgrade any roads? Was I in the change direction tool? I sure was. Can we, can we just, can I make a complaint here? Ready? So let's go into the change direction tool and read what that text says. Cannot upgrade to this type. Well, that's okay because I'm not in the upgrade tool. Cannot upgrade to this type. So it's a little weird. I I, I don't know. That, that's just stupid UI that I would have picked up on much sooner. So the reason that I'm doing this now is this is going to make the city feel much more lived in, I think. 
because um, now we're going to get cars parking on the street instead of this empty looking street that's just just totally un, unpopulated. So we're going to have more and more people in here as we drop in more of those office areas and people come here for entertainment. But right away, we're starting to get cars parking on the street. Now, one of the things that I think is a little strange, parking lots. I think these are all these are all obviously built in assets into the game on console, but these are not how parking lots work. <laughs> Where do you pull into the lot? Where do you turn left? Where do you turn right to get in there? Where did that bus? Wait, you just park on top. Like, how did you? How did this guy even get out of his car? Guy just parked here. Maybe he's right-hand drive. But this is considering this is how you get into the bus. This is a dick move right here. Is what this is. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Sorry to call it out, but I'm pretty sure there's a. a subreddit with this guy's picture all over it um what did we get level two on our industry we did so i think that gets us some stuff doesn't it we can now do oh we gotta do a bakery no we already had the bakery we built the bakery already what is this one furniture factory takes paper and timber can we build, can we make paper yet? Uh, right? Did we unlock that? Biomass pellet plant. This makes paper. It makes a mess too, as I, I remember. We'll put them on that street. Let's do that. So that will make us timber and paper and we're storing a lot of the excess timber but the other thing that we can do now is if we jump back over to factories may as well get this furniture factory going since it uses the two things that we have here in zone so at that point we're producing crops and flour and animal goods to make donuts donuts at the bakery and then we're taking everything that we're doing within this zone and creating furniture out of that so right now we're not doing anything that requires more than one zone everything that's happening in the farms happening in the farms everything that's happening in the forestry is staying over here so they'll still come out to use the highway to get goods in and out but it doesn't put as much stress say getting you know, goods from here and here into a factory over here. So it should help a little bit with the truck traffic staying more internal to the zone for the most part. You know, because once these trees are finished growing, they come down here to the sawmill to get processed. Right? Don't they? Or over here to get stored? Okay. And then from there in the storage, they'll get delivered to the... Um... Okay. Okay. Anyways, production chain. Yeah. Wood vision. Can we, uh, should we go take a, I don't think we've taken a walk around this one. Uh, let's do that before we call it quits. Uh, who would blend in? Who's our, who's our corporate spy? I have a hard hat guy. I mean, what? You're not going to stop him, right? Security. Good. How, didn't I come through there? Is this an invisible wall here? I thought I walked out through that. Maybe not. Um, so this is kind of got some cool colors going on. It, the textures aren't the best, obviously, down at this level, but it is fun to kind of get around the city, walk around, see what, see what's going on. Why can't I walk around as that person? That would be terrifying. Imagine living in like a downtown metro area, that guy just walking around town. Sir, why do you have the um, the rubber overalls on? You expecting to get covered in a lot of liquid while you're cutting down trees? 
a little, it's a little strange. I'm out of here. I am out of here. Uh, recycle bins? Little dumpsters? Oh, this is a sawmill over here. It's actually running timber through. That's kind of cool. I don't, I've never been in here. So it's taking the logs in, in the building from the delivery. And spitting out this plain timber. And then from the trucks to the storage or to here to make paper and over there to make the furniture. So another year, another academic report success. Um, we'll keep cranking on this because I don't have the achievement for those academic works because I just stopped. Like at some point, it's like, OK, you can't can't make any more with this this school so I guess you have to do it multiple schools um, I think I don't know I could be mistaken but I like you know at, you don't need more academic works once you get above a certain level like I have 14 out of 2 for my next level um, we don't have students right now because we're sending them to the regular universities so unfortunately unfortunately I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot there um, wow that filled up pretty quick So we've got, we've got some good stuff done so far. I don't know, today, I really, I saw that comment in the, uh, I saw this comment from one of the last videos that we should do a competing farm, Tegrity Farms, and it just, it made me laugh, and that's, this is really what I wanted to, uh, really what I wanted to build on today. If, uh, if you're over the age of 18, go ahead and search YouTube for that, um, if you want a little chuckle, if you don't know it. Integrity Farms. But uh, I will... Did I just see fire? Or was that... That was like smoke as I was... I was pulling away and like saw the distortion of the smoke on the wood. And it looked like fire. I was super nervous there for a minute. S speaking of... Um, we'll do a local firehouse. To help them out. And then why not... We've got the zoning for it. I think it's time for another helicopter depot. Can't hurt. And maybe we could do something over here. Just get that road all in the green. We'll help our casino out. We know that... You might need these city services. Maybe more than, than other regions, right? You know, you need a little police precinct over here and a, a firehouse to keep all these people safe and uh, to keep the business safe, right? Am I right? You know, it would... Um... Whoa, whoops. Whew, little accident there. Um, little tax revenue, though, might help that accident not happen in the future, so... Now that we got that out of the way, those of you that have been with the Let's Plays for a while will, will probably know this is coming sooner or later. Um, we've got to extort some money out of the casino. But I think we're off to a good uh, start this week. Um, I've got some ideas, some different things, and really we're just kind of just... We're still kind of in assembly mode. I'm still building out these little pockets, and I want to figure out, like, you know, where does this fold in over here? And where's that separation Where's our other university going to be? I think this might actually be a really cool spot for a university campus. Um, we still need to tuck in maybe an airport. I need to clean this up over here. We need to stack this up a little bit more gradually with some high-rise band. There's, there's a ton of stuff, so don't worry. The city's not going away anytime soon. In fact, what I was planning on doing this year was, since there's four seasons in the year, or at least there is in New England, I don't know about where you live, um, but I was thinking about doing four seasons this year so uh january february march is going to be grand lakes uh april may june will be something else and then we'll have a, a fall series and a winter series also let me know your thoughts kind of what you'd like to see for builds um one build that is coming back is rockdale which some of you may remember from my season one let's play um i started kind of rebuilding it offline and i asked some people in the discord like hey what would people watch this because I thought it was kind of interesting. It's different. 
but uh, it, it's more about the theory of building it rather than the let's play. So I really break down why I'm making these decisions. And in the first episode, the only thing we get done is basically gridding one neighborhood and doing some of the basic highway infrastructure work that we want to create a successful city off of. So it's a different format. And I, I, I don't know. I think it's interesting. I like it. Um, but let me know what you think. That'll be Wednesday on the channel. Tune in Mondays and Fridays for the Let's Play. Something else on Wednesdays, and sometimes it'll be cities, sometimes it won't. Sometimes if you don't see a video, there's usually behind-the-scenes content that you can find over on the Discord, so join us over there. It's totally free. It's available on PC and mobile. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, hope you have a fantastic week. Likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. If you'd like to support the channel, links to that in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. But until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.